Hey guys, this is Aman from Medivaka and welcome to today's session on Google Cloud Anthos. But before we begin, I would like to address the agenda for today's session. So firstly, we'll have a brief introduction about GCP. Next, we'll understand what exactly is Google Cloud Anthos. Then we will talk about some of the features and benefits of Anthos and then conclude our session with a case study on Google Cloud Anthos. What exactly is Google Cloud Platform? So basically, Google Cloud Platform is a suite of cloud computing services and management tools offered by Google. GCP runs on the same cloud infrastructure that Google uses internally for its end user products such as Google Search, Gmail, Google Photos and also YouTube. It is one of the leading cloud service providers along with Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure Cloud and owns 7% of the total cloud market share. Gartner has positioned Google as a magic quadrant leader among the furthest three position vendor. Google Cloud's global network spans across 25 regions with 76 zones and is available for the user of 25 plus countries and territories. Now a region is nothing but a specific geographical location where you can host your resources and a region can have three or more zones. Actually many enterprises are increasingly adopting Google Cloud Platform because the services offered by GCP are more secure and are cost effective. Talking about services, let us take a look at some of the core GCP service domains. That would include compute, storage and databases, networking, big data, various developers tool, identity and security, internet of things and cloud artificial intelligence. Now this was just a brief introduction about GCP. Let us move on to main topic for today and understand what exactly is Google Cloud Anthos. Anthos is a hybrid and multi-cloud application modernization platform. It was launched in June 2019 and can help in rapidly building hybrid and multi-cloud application without compromising on security as well as not increasing the complexity. Now if you're wondering what Anthos can be used for, here are a few cases where you can use Anthos. Firstly, it helps in provisioning infrastructure in both cloud and on-premises as well. Next, it provides infrastructure management tooling, security, policy and compliance solutions. It can also be used for streamlined application development, service management and workload migration from on-premises to the cloud. Next, one of the core functionality of using Anthos is to easily deploy container-based application in a hybrid or multi-cloud environment in an easy and consistent way. Clients can choose from various deployment options such as on-premises, bare metal, Google Cloud Platform, AWS or Kubernetes clusters. Google Cloud Anthos allows developers to focus on innovation and create new features, software or products for the company instead of spending time on managing complex hybrid environment. This will be taken care of by Google Cloud Anthos. Now I guess you have some idea about what Google Cloud Anthos can be used for. Now in order to understand Google Cloud Anthos better, let us take a look at its components. Basically, Anthos is a platform composed of several technologies integrated together rather than a single product. It is powered by Kubernetes along with other technologies like Google Kubernetes Engine, Google Kubernetes Engine On-Prem, Istio, Service Mesh and others. Now let us talk about each of these components one by one. Now the Google Kubernetes Engine and Google Kubernetes Engine On-Prem are the main computing components which enables Anthos. Now GK is nothing but a managed environment for deploying, managing and scaling containerized application using the Google infrastructure. Now if a company already have the data center or the IT infrastructure, they can use GKE On-Prem, which will provide them all the benefits of GKE like auto updates, auto node repair and many more. Then to connect the on-premises data centers and workloads on GCP, there is Google Cloud Interconnect. Now Google Cloud Interconnect is a service which provides direct connectivity between on-premises data centers and the workloads on Google Cloud Platform with consistent latency and high bandwidth. Now Google Anthos Service Mesh enables fully managed service meshes for complex microservices architecture which would include traffic management, mesh telemetry and securing service communications. And with Anthos Config Management, you can create configuration which will allow you to easily and consistently manage your resources globally across clouds and data centers. Next, the GKE Connect allows you to register GKE on-prem based clusters to the GCP console. This can help in securely managing the resources and workloads running on them together with the rest of the GKE clusters. This can be enabled by installing the GKE Connect agent. Organization can simultaneously migrate the virtual machine applications to Google Kubernetes Engine with Anthos Migrate. So the apps can be run and managed through GKE with Istio Service Mesh capabilities. 
So now I guess you have some idea about Anthos components and what is Anthos. Let us move on to the next topic and see some of the features of Google Cloud Anthos. The first feature is Google Cloud Anthos integrates security into each stage of application lifecycle from developing to building and running. Anthos enables defense in-depth security strategies with a comprehensive portfolio of security control across all the deployment models. The next feature is it offers a fully managed service mesh with built-in visibility. Google Anthos service mesh unburdens the operational and the development team by empowering them to manage and secure traffic between services while monitoring, troubleshooting and improving application performance. The next feature is it provides container orchestration and management service. Google Cloud Anthos enables you to run Kubernetes clusters anywhere in both cloud and on-premises environment. Anthos can also run on your existing virtualized infrastructure and bare metal servers without a hypervisor layer. It simplifies your application stack, reduces the cost associated with licensing a hypervisor and decreases time spent learning new skills. The next feature of Google Cloud Anthos is serverless computing. Anthos provides a flexible serverless deployment platform called Cloud Run for Anthos, which allows you to deploy your workloads to Anthos cluster running on-premises or on Google Cloud, all with the same consistent experience. Cloud Run for Anthos is powered by Native, which is an open source project that supports serverless workloads on Kubernetes. The next feature is migrating existing workloads to containers. You can use the Migrate for Anthos service that minimizes the manual effort required to move and convert existing application into containers. With Migrate for Anthos, you can easily migrate and modernize your existing workloads to containers on a secure and managed Kubernetes service. These were some of the features of Google Cloud Anthos. Now let us move on to the next topic and see some of the benefits of using Google Cloud Anthos. The first benefit is it provides various business benefits. Now according to Forrester Research Anthos report, which was commissioned by Google, it was found that overall Anthos business benefits include operational efficiency, developer productivity, and security productivity. On an average, organization saw 4.8 times return of investment within three years of adopting the Anthos Cloud Platform. The developers can use this platform to quickly and easily build and deploy existing container-based application and microservices-based architectures. They can use Git compliance management and CI-CD workload for configuration as well as code using Anthos configuration management. It also supports for Google Cloud Marketplace to easily and quickly deploy functional software packages or products into clusters. The next benefits of Anthos is it provides enhanced security. Anthos protects apps with high standard for reliability, availability, and vulnerability from a security perspective. Anthos also offers a high level of control and alertness for your services health and performance with a comprehensive view. Now these were just some of the benefits of Google Cloud Anthos. Now let us take a look at the pricing of Anthos. Anthos charges applies to all managed Anthos clusters and are based on the number of Anthos clusters virtual CPUs charged on an hourly basis. There are two types of pricing options for Anthos. The first one is pay as you go pricing model, where you are built for Anthos managed clusters as you use them. Now if you want to try Google Anthos or use it infrequently, you can choose pay as you go pricing model. The next type of pricing option is a subscription pricing, which provides a discounted price for a committed term. Your monthly subscription covers all Anthos deployment irrespective of environment at their respective billing rates. Any usage over your monthly subscription fees will show as an overage in your monthly bill at the pay as you go price listed here. Now you can see in the image over here, there are three payment options. First one is pay as you go in an hourly basis. The next one is pay as you go in a monthly basis and the subscription for monthly. And you can see the rates for each virtual CPU in various deployment models, such as Google Cloud, AWS, multi-cloud, on-premises, VMware, and on-premises bare metal. The good news is if you're a new Anthos customer, you can try Anthos on Google Cloud for free up to $900 worth of usage or for a maximum of 30 days, whichever might happen earlier. Now during this trial period, you're only billed for the applicable fees and then credited at the same time for those fees up to $900. But you're still billed for the applicable infrastructure usage during the trial. This was about Google Cloud Anthos pricing. Now let us move on to the next topic and see a case study on Google Cloud Anthos. So for our case study, we'll be talking about UPC Polska. 
Now, UPC Polska is a Polish telecommunication arm of Liberty Global Europe, which offers cable television, broadband internet, and other services to roughly 1.5 million customers in Poland. The problem they faced was they needed to balance their existing IT infrastructure, which took them two decades to build, with a faster and more flexible infrastructure. So when they were looking for the solution, they decided to opt for hybrid IT, which would give them the speed to market the needed as well as maintain the existing infrastructure which they value. Now deciding about the hybrid approach, they thought Antos was the best solution for the company's specific needs because of the consistent experience across environment, agility enabled by modern CI/CD, and the ability to set policy and ensure security at scale. Then they partnered with Accenture and focused on the cultural and organizational element involved in rolling out a new solution. When they opted for Anthos, it provided them with the following benefits. Their various team could focus on the core responsibility rather than infrastructure management. For example, developers could focus on writing greater codes while the operational team could use Anthos to effectively manage and run those applications anywhere. Also, the on-premises nature of the company's existing infrastructure made scaling and general maintenance difficult. By running Anthos in the data centers, the company gained the fully compliant Kubernetes experience necessary to avoid cluster orchestration and management issues, which included managing and scaling the containers. They also improved the scalability and resilience through containerized GKE clusters on Anthos. Now, this was a case study on Google Cloud Anthos. And with this, we have come to the end of our session. I hope it was helpful. Happy learning.